Hi everyone on YouTube, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. I want to do a one minute video blog about a little problem I've encountered with the Theta Plus app for the Ricoh Theta camera. This is the Ricoh Theta S camera, a really wonderful 360 cam which is a lot of fun. I carry it everywhere I go and I, I take mostly use it for photography, for 360 photography and if you could check my Instagram, which I'll put the link below, you can kind of see some of the photos, some of the wacky looking photos that I take with this camera. It's got a lens on both sides, so it's really nice. Uh, however, a few days ago, Rico, the company that makes it, came out with an update to their Theta Plus video editing app, which edits 360 photos um, for this camera. And fortunately, the new version of the app is almost like a redesign that's really rough around the edges. It has a lot of problems and bugs, and one of the major problems with it when I rated it one star is because uh, it doesn't take into consideration the rotational information um, encoded into the image by this camera. So it means if you're holding the camera say at a different orientation like like to the side or vertically or horizontally, normally the camera would have corrected the orientation because the camera knows which way is up and it would have uh, made it so when you edit the photo, the photo is is uh, natural looking in the right orientation. But the new version of Theta Plus seems to not recognize the orientation or rotation and correction information provided by the camera. So the photo is always off, um, off kilter a little bit. So uh, I was actually looking how to get the older version of the app for Android. And I found a website online that had the older version. But I'm really wary of these third-party websites that contain Android apps because they might contain viruses or spyware. So fortunately, the one I, I've been trying seems to be okay. There's no virus or spyware. But if you want to um, get access to this APK, the version of the old version, and you can't find it, and you're not willing to risk it with some kind of weird um, random website, you can send me a message here or leave a comment below, and I can send you the APK version of the older version of Theta Plus that doesn't have that rotational issue. I'm also hoping that Rico will fix this issue in a future update in their app because right now, really the new version that they've released is pretty much unusable for, for me and this camera and I hope that they will fix this soon because that's one of the major strengths of this camera is that amazing Theta Plus app and I think they tried to make it easier but it really they made it worse with uh, bug fixes, uh, bugs in the application and this rotational information is not working properly. Anyways, I do love this camera. It's one of my favorite cameras and it's the Ricoh Theta S and uh, I recommend checking out 360 cameras and 360 photography and video on Facebook and YouTube and online because it's really kind of cool what you can do with this nowadays. That's all for now. Hope you have a great day and have a good time with this camera if you have one and good luck finding the older version of the app. If you have the older version, I recommend turning off up auto updates so you don't get the newer one until Theta has fixed those issues with the rotational correction. Anyways, have a great day and bye-bye uh, for now.